Hey, what's up guys? This is Jaro with Volt Life for Grooming. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Before we get going on the next subject on how to increase the longevity of your beard color, I wanted to ask you to please, please subscribe to our channel, hit the button below because this allows us to uh, share the videos with more guys out there. We get a lot of inquiries about how to increase the longevity of your beard color. So in this tutorial, whether you're using beard dyes or beard color, I'm going to show you some tricks that I've learned on how to make it last longer. All right, so let's start talking about Bolt Instant Beard Color and how to keep it on longer. So the one thing you need to know about Bolt Instant Beard Color is that this is not a dye, so it doesn't dye or stain or penetrate your hair. So with that said, Bolt actually adheres to the outside of your hair. So the number one thing that you have to do, you have to be really careful about, is to make sure that your hair is clean because you don't want to have anything in between the hair and the color because the color is going to wash off with it. The easiest and fastest way to clean your beard is with the Bolt Prep and Clean solution. And all you gotta do is uh, put it on a cotton pad or a paper towel and just wipe your beard clean. And the other way to uh, clean your beard is simply by taking a shower and uh, using a beard wash or a shampoo and making sure that the beard is completely dry before applying the color. Next thing that's really important is to make sure that you shake this vial really well because what happens is the pigment and the solution separates over time. So if you don't shake it well, what you're gonna end up doing is you're gonna be applying the heavy loads of pigment on your beard, which is gonna smear off or smudge off really quickly, or you're gonna be applying the base, which is kind of translucent, so it's gonna look like you actually are not applying anything on your beard. Another way to make the bald instant beard color last longer is by applying it a bit heavier in the places that will be exposed to more, you know, rubbing or scrubbing or more action. So that's usually what I do. I do it in the front right here because I might be using napkins or I might be rubbing it more with my hands. So go a little bit heavier and that's gonna help it to last a little bit longer. Once you have the color in place, you can also apply bolt lock, which is designed to lock in the color. In, uh, in other words, all you gotta do is apply a few spray sprays like this, light sprays, about 12 inches from your beard. And what this is gonna do is gonna give it extra layer, extra clear coat over the beard and protect it from rubbing and scrubbing, especially let's say if you're planning on going to a gym or in a pool. It's also recommended not to use anything over the beard color. The beard color already has argan oil in it and vitamin E, which work as moisturizers. But if you wanna apply beard oil and beard balm, you can do it, but I recommend applying it prior to applying the beard color and going light. That way, these two products are not inter interfering with the longevity. All right, and the one before the last one I'm gonna talk about is pretty common sense. Bold Instant Beer Color, like I said, it's pigment-based product that adheres to the outside of your hair, so try to avoid any scrubbing and rubbing, especially when the beer color or when your beard is wet. And lastly, the beauty about Bold Instant Beer Color is that you can always carry it with you anywhere you go and use it as a touch-up. And it does fit in a small pocket like this one right here. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. All right, next, let's talk about beer dyes. So beer dyes work completely different than Bolt Instant Beer Color. What they do is they actually penetrate and stain your hair. So just like with Bolt Instant Beer Color, the number one thing you wanna do, even though you're using dyes, is to make sure that you clean your beard really well. All right, the second thing to keep in mind is that you mix the color and the developer really well. Uh, this can also affect the lasting of the color. I know this can be a little bit tedious and time-consuming uh, you know, process, but make sure you use it according to the directions and uh, you know, give it some time because it really has to blend together. Once you blend these two together and put them in your beard to develop the color, you gotta be really careful because if you leave it in too long, the beard is going to look too dark and too fake. And if you underdo it, uh, it's gonna be, the color is gonna be too light. The one thing I can say is that, you know, you gotta be, uh, you just gotta try it out a few times and figure out what works the best for you because every individual is different. Now, the advantage of beard dye is that it will last you virtually forever until you shave off your beard. Now, that also comes with disadvantage because as you know, your hair grows. And as it grows in about a week, you're gonna see these white roots showing up. And it's not gonna look right because the rest of it is gonna be colored. Now, at that point, you're gonna have two choices. 
you can either re it again, and you know that's the process. You gotta put on gloves, you gotta mix the two components, you gotta put it in, you gotta wait, and you gotta rinse it off. It doesn't take the five minutes that they say it takes a lot longer, at least half an hour. Now, the other choice is that you can shave over your beard, which I don't think you wanna do. So, I've got another solution for you that it's gonna work really well, and that is having these two products work together. And so, what you're gonna end up doing is, when you start seeing those white roots, you can find the best match uh, in both instant beer color that matches the best the beer dye and just touch it up. And what that's gonna do for you is that you don't have to, you won't have to re-dye your, um, your, your beard every single week or every two weeks. You can actually extend that process into uh, three or four weeks, which is going to save you time and money. So whether you're using beer dyes or beer color, I hope that this video pro provided you with a few pointers on how to maintain the beard and keep on the color a bit longer. Now I wanted to ask you again to please uh, hit that button below and subscribe to our channel. This will help us tremendously because we want to grow the channel and share these videos with more guys out there.